Welcome back friends. So this is part 12 of the tutorial series wherein we are creating an e-commerce app. So I managed to fix the toast notification uh, after uh, ending the last video. So as you can see here, if I add a product, I get this nice notification here. And if I add the same product again in the cart, I get this blue notification. So the missing piece was this uh, CSS file that you need to add to your angular.json uh, file here in, in this styles array and you can refer to this official documentation of ngx toaster in the npmjs.com npm uh, repository okay and if you scroll down okay so it tells you how to install it how to add this files all those things <clears throat> then you need to inst uh, import the module and then you can inject the service and use it and there are tons of options okay and all these options are pretty pretty self-explanatory except for this one position class because it accepts a string and the only string that is shown here is toe stop right that we are using in our uh, cart service here okay so let's scroll down to add cart method i think it's uh, minimized here yeah so you see this position class toast top right so there are other options as well and to get the uh, complete list you should click on the demo button here this will take you to this page okay and you see the toast position uh, attribute here so everything that you see here is a valid position the only thing that you need to keep in mind that this name let's say we want to use top full width okay so you need to <clears throat> go here and just uh, prepend it with toast hyphen so you want to use top full width so you go here you write it like this top hyphen full hyphen width okay save it now if i add the same product again i'll get the full width notification there you go okay if i go back here and i choose bottom full width like toast bottom full width save it go back here there you go like that okay that's pretty simple and this took me some time to figure out how to use these names okay so by default it's top right so we'll stick to that so toast top right save it all right so in this part we will finish the header component and the toast notification so toast notification we already fixed it by adding this uh, angular.json uh, sorry the toaster.css file in our angular.json package or file under the styles array so next we need to jump to the header.ts file here so header.ts so i can close my home component as of now i don't need it and the card service also and in my card service i added a new function at the bottom here to calculate the subtotal which i will be using in the in my header component and the cart also i mean i believe this is a simple function which takes an index okay and returns a number so subtotal is zero i am fetching the correct correct current product from that index which is applied here and then uh, i simply multiply the number of products in the cart with the price and returning that value okay so in my header component.ts file i would need a couple of variables to store the total and the data object so cart data i'll name it cart data and this will be of cart model server okay and also a cart total which will be of type number so in my constructor i'll inject my cart service of type cart service make sure you uh, write this import statement if your id doesn't do it automatically in my ng on init i'll call this dot cart service dot 
car total car total observable as you can see from the name it is ending with a dollar that means it's an, it's an observable and we can subscribe to it okay so it will give me the total each time and I will assign the car total car total to this total okay also I'll use this dot card service dot card data subscribe to it this will uh, what happened? subscribe to it this will give me the data object uh, this will card data equal to data okay so we'll use these two in our HTML here so if you see your HTML <coughs> Your cart is always showing a quantity of zero which we don't want we want to render it dynamically and the way we will do it is first check that card data dot data element the first entry the first uh, element in the array if, if its num in cart value is not equal to zero if that's the case then we'll display the length that number of product it has in the, uh, in the cart otherwise we'll display zero similarly in the drop down <clears throat> okay uh, cart list we want to loop through all the elements okay so here I'll use uh, ng if I, I only want to display the list if my cart data dot data first element dot num in card is not equal to zero if it's zero I don't I don't want any list to be displayed now loop through the product widget here using the ng4 structural directive so this will loop through all the items in the array and the array is card data dot data okay and also I need the index of each product and that will be stored in the variable i okay this is a feature of angular so in the product image let me remove this piece I'll bind it to c dot product dot image not images image and this will be c dot product dot name <coughs> Now I'll also give it a width of 20 pixels just to make sure this contained within that element. Product name goes here, so product name will be we know that c dot product dot name quantity okay quantity will be not one it will be c dot product dot or c dot num in cart right yeah multiplied by <coughs> not zero c dot product price and we'll use the currency pipe here so now the delete button will bind it to a click listener this will be cut service dot delete product from cart and I'll pass the index i there the cart summary I want to display uh, I want to display here the number of items in the cart so that will be that will be uh, cart data data let's check if it's not empty that's the case then we'll display the card data dot data dot length or we'll display zero the subtotal okay for subtotal we'll use that new function or will you will name it total here let's make it total this will be car total okay 
view card checkout is fine okay now let's go back to our browser we see uh, it says private let's make it public here uh, public okay go back to the browser and to our front end and you'll see we ought already have one listed here because we have one product in the cart okay that, the, that is a shoe that you have you have four uh, in cart and the total is shown here if you click on the delete button you get this notification you click on cancel it remains there but if you click on ok it goes away and uh, your cart is reset the total uh, number of items is set to zero the card is empty okay and if you add a new product it's added this is also added and now you should see two items in cart you can scroll through them total is updated and if I add the same product again in my cart value does not get changed but the quantity here is updated so that's the total here I can I can remove it in real time I, I can go to any any page I want this remains as it is okay I can go to my cart page or my checkout page it doesn't matter go back to my home page it remains there and if I even if I refresh this page I'll still have my card intact because this is stored in my local storage okay and even if you let's say some smart guy comes here and tries to change this although it's not possible here I see okay you can change it here I guess you can put let's say put zero here but here so if, as soon as you refresh it you get the correct total again Okay, because this is our server doing the job and not de not depending not relying on this information if you remove this product from here your card updates automatically so as a total and there we go so our header component is completed and we are also able to see the notifications here let me show it here I'll close this thing add this product products added add it again update it add this this update the quantity okay you have four new products All right so this is working perfectly fine in the in the next video we will be working on the cart page so it's, it's blank now so we'll uh, create a create a table to display all the items in the cart and the total and we'll also display a checkout button okay so till then please stay tuned with me and don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and comment uh, if you have any questions or queries or suggestions and I'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you so much bye bye